Hey Sagittarius, this is Alicia with Twisted Tarot, here to do your December 2018 Twin Flame Tarot reading. So if you saw the first video, you know that that is your energy, and this video is your twin's energy. Uh, so in the first video, we pulled uh, astrological signs that could be ones that you're dealing with for your twin. The first sign that we came out is Taurus and Pisces. We had Pisces very heavy in the reading. I had about four cards relating to Pisces. Uh, so the mutual energy between you and your twin is the King of Cups reversed. Again, it's a Cancer Scorpio Pis or Pisces energy. And uh, just by itself, it uh, is, it's definitely, from what I saw, there's a couple different messages. So the King of Cups to me shows that there is uh, a loss in this connection, uh, or this connection is... Um, upside down for some reason like the king of cups is uh an energy can be male or female but um is just somebody who's just sad over uh and crying is what i felt from this because there's some tears type of energy that i see and there's tears coming out right there it may not be physically tears supposed to be tears on here but i definitely see that and it's an emotional it's very feeling emotional feeling sad feeling upside down in the connection here just feeling like your emotions just are are out of balance as well the connection's out of balance so and it was clarified by the queen of queen of cups so uh again cancer scorpio pisces we had pisces very heavy in the reading we have uh a moon here we've got the pisces card we've got two of these cards definitely definitely heavy water energy here so emotions are high in this connection is what i'm seeing so with the queen of cups uh upright uh, maybe that there are a couple messages that uh, the Queen of Cups is not offering her love to uh, you, Sagittarius. Uh, it could be that you want, or that you want to offer your love to her, or or you, but you just aren't. So I, I feel like it's two energies. I feel like they're both not um, offering their love to each other. So uh, take it how it resonates, but it definitely feels like an energy where uh, the Queen of Cups is loving and kind and giving and um and would, would want to give to this connection but something is out of balance with that king of cups so it's like we have a pair here so sad your energy may also be the king of cups so you just may be emotionally unstable at this time uh or you may feel like this queen of cups is is manipulating the connection or you're manipulating like it, it's a very manipulative um unstable vibe here so all right, so let me clear out the energy here and then we'll get into your twin side of the reading. So if you're wearing headphones, you might want to take them out. Awesome. And if you have seen me read before, you know I'm an intuitive reader. Uh, and so if you see a card that is a tarot card and I say something different and you're like, oh my gosh, that's not what that means. That's true. It's possible that I am saying something that is intuitively coming to me and I'm getting other messages. So I try to take in both. So keep that in mind. It is a general reading. So if it's flip-flops, that's fine. That happens a lot. I'm taking in a lot of different energies. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, let's see what else. Um, thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. You guys are massively awesome. I am loving, loving all of everything you guys bring, bring to me, bring to my channel. I'm new and, uh, I'm just starting out and all the support that you guys have given me is amazing. So thank you so, so much. I am, I'm loving it. So, uh, also I'm running a contest on December 11th, which is in two days on Wednesday. It is on my Facebook page and my link is, the link is below. It also will take you to my page if you would like a personal reading and uh, you can book there. Uh, that's where all my readings are booked through normally. And um, the question will be posted on Wednesday and whoever answers it correctly first will win a free tarot reading for me. So fantastic. Uh, okay, let's get into your twin's energy. We have mother. All right, so without even looking at this card, I've had it before, but um, your twin could be a mother. So again, we have this queen of cups here, could be a mother energy. 
um, as well. We've got this the Pisces card here. We've got a Taurus card as well. So definitely could be a mother that your that your your twin could be a mother. So or they could just be in this energy. Um, it shows nurturance, patience, unconditional love, and joy in giving birth to life. So your twin could also be pregnant uh, with or have children or be around children or just be very nurturing and loving. And, and the Queen of Cups very much, uh, she is that type of energy. So could be very relevant for some of you. Again, an extra Pisces here. <laughs> I'm just picking it up heavy in this reading, guys. All right, the next card we have is the Hidden Path, the Marriage of Spirit and Matter. Okay, so I'm not surprised to see this card because here we had this beautiful tree. And what I got from that tree from Sagittarius is that you and your twin are already married in a, in a higher dimension. Your souls have already come into union. Whether you come into actual union on this earth or not, you have come into union here um, in, in, a, in a higher, in the fifth dimension or a higher dimension. So your souls have already said, I love you. I want to be yours forever. So God, so beautiful here. But this is that hidden secret, sacred path. So your twin, I, I said it here. I said it here. Um, and so I'm, I'm picking it up here. So very interesting. So the marriage of spirit and matter. So that's, wow, that's beautiful. And they know that you're their that you're their secret. So if they haven't told anybody, you know, on this side, if they haven't told anybody that you're their twin, you are that, you are, for some of them, you are a secret. Um, they know that you're their twin. They may not be saying so. Uh, could be very high priestess type of energy. That's a Pisces as well. So keep that in mind. Next card I have is business and Venus. So what I'm seeing here is that for this side, you've got some really interesting mirroring type of colors of cards. Sad, you had some very pink cards and now your twin has them too. So they're very much, sorry, my video freezes. So they're very much in this energy of taking care of business. So they may own a business, they may be trying to create a business, uh, but it is something that they love and enjoy. Uh, and it's also them knowing that, you know, love kind of conquers all is what I'm hearing here on this side for your twin. They know that just in general that they're sending you their love, just like you're kind of sending them your love here with this, this card here on your side. So very beautiful energy. And then we have numbing. Yeah, but they're trying not to feel anything right now. They're not trying to feel this connection. They're not trying to... Maybe they may not be communicating for some of you. They may be using substances to numb themselves. It's very possible. Uh, they could just be just closing down the connection. Again, we have this King of Cups reverse. I felt that at the beginning, like the, like the connection is being shut down for them or they're shutting down emotionally is also what I'm seeing here. And that is definitely um, what I'm picking up from that numbing card. Next card we have is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so now it makes a lot of sense with that numbing card. So your twin may feel like there's an ending with you. They may feel like there's no more, no further that more, excuse me. They can go no further with you. They can't go any further. Okay, uh, so maybe they have closed down, again, closed down the connection. Um, there's been some type of ending. I will clarify that as well and see if we can get some more energy. But it's also it's painful. It's so painful. So whatever your twin has gone through, it may have nothing to do with you. You may be in separation and they may just be in so much pain that maybe they're just numbing. They're numbing themselves because they don't want to feel this pain. That's what I'm getting. They don't want to feel this pain ever again. Okay. Twin flame message that they have to give to you. You inspire me. So yeah, they ins you inspire, you inspire them. Uh, so maybe this business that they're starting is because of you. Maybe you inspired them. Maybe you told them that they would do magically at something and or maybe they were supportive of uh, your, maybe you were, sorry, you said were supportive of your twin's venture and they're like, heck yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go out and I'm going to, I'm going to make something of myself and, um, or maybe they're doing it because they love you so much. So that could be it. And it's, it's to show you their love. That's really interesting. Next card we have is a visionary, but it is reversed. 
So let's see, we have selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Okay, so for some of you, you may be doing exactly what I do. You may be a tarot reader, you may be a psychic, you may do, uh, you may uh, have gifts like I do of intuition, of visions, uh, dreams, etc. So it's basically saying that not to compromise what compromise what they're doing or who they are and and what they've decided to do based on what everybody else does or what everybody else wants or the opinions of others uh, in what they're doing. So it's like trying to get past this kind of. Uh, don't do this because everybody else doesn't do that kind of energy. They're just like, mm -mm, nope, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it well. If you tell some, if you tell me not to do something, I'll do it twice and take pictures <laughs> and I'll do it crazy. So that's that type of energy that I'm feeling for this card. Wow. Interesting. And that they may have people around them that don't understand what they do and they're like, mm, don't do that or make it more acceptable and don't be yourself. Don't cuss so much. Don't, um, you know, uh, don't put yourself out there or whatever. And so it's telling your twin, like haters, like push those haters away, push that away. You know, you know, in your heart, what you're passionate about, what you love, do what you love and don't listen to them haters. All right. We have perception beyond the veil of illusion. So there's more going on here in the connection than your twin knows. Um, uh, than your twins aware of. So um, it's all about perception. It's all about what they don't see as well. So it's possible that your twin is like moving away from you, but they don't, they don't see that there's more going on behind the scenes. So, um, you know, maybe spirits working on you, working on your twin, things like that. And um, so it's just all about a matter of perception. Let's see what that has to do with pleasure and divine goddess. Okay. So it's telling them to step into their, <clears throat> into their divine uh, feminine or masculine uh, part of who they are and to take pleasure in, in that and to really see who, you know, see that this connection can be something great too. There's these two people here um, and it's almost like spirits like, oh my gosh, we see you guys. Like we're watching over you. Um, we want you to be this div divine goddess. We want you to take pleasure in, in this spiritual path that we've opened up for you. Wow. Oh, that's magical. So spirit is like, hell yeah, union for you and your twins. <laughs> so that's really interesting. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right. Next card we have is purge. And it's reversed. So I'm feeling like um, you have already done some purging that uh, on this side um, as as the twin side is this energy is that your twin has already purged. They're already purging things that don't serve them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That don't serve their highest good. And then we have the page of wands reversed. Okay. So uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but I'm picking up more of an energy from this card than an actual person. So what it is, is your twin may not be communicating. They may not be communicating of the spiritual work they're doing, what they're purging, uh, what they're feeling. So this 10 of swords type of energy that they feel very betrayed, very hurt, very sad, that they're numbing as well. It's definitely like they're not communicating something. It's definitely like they, like they want to say something like they want to, to give a message, but they're not speaking. So, and they're not, they're not, uh, they're not moving, moving forward maybe because of this. So, yeah. And your twin would like to say to you, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Yeah, so they may be sorry that they uh, couldn't have couldn't have done better in this connection. So if you guys are in separation, they do want to say that too, that they're sorry that they couldn't do right by you. So maybe they hurt you in a way. So, I mean, that happens on both sides uh, with both twins. So, you know, this isn't an easy journey. And we unintentionally hurt each other. And I think that's what they're trying to say is, I'm sorry that... Um, I hurt you and that's beautiful. All right. We have seeker, but it's reversed. So inability to commit to a path once found. Yeah. So your twin may be trying to figure out their path, um, on, on this journey and trying to commit to this path, but they may not feel like they can at this point. Like there's something, there's something that they're, they still have to do or, or, 
heal from emotionally before they can commit to this path is what I'm seeing here. Then we have harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. Yeah, so your, fin fi <laughs> your twin is feeling very productive. They're feeling like they're in harmony with nature, with themselves, with what they're trying to do. Uh, sorry, there's a glare there. Uh, what they're trying to do, they have a lot of self-confidence here, so that's magical. Like, I see some really positive cards on this side. Like, they've got some self-confidence here, especially in maybe this, biz this business venture. Like, they're doing what they love, and they are confident in it, and they're like, I got this. I got this. You, do you see me? I got this. Like, you know, very beautiful energy. They're feeling in harmony with themselves. They may still have some work to do, but they're feeling, har they're feeling harmonious, which is beautiful. Next card we have is judgment and higher self. So what they're feeling like here is that um, their higher self, um, they're feeling they're feeling like they're for listening to their higher self that that it's that it's sorry I'm trying to express it here. Um, this energy is just like I want a chance to prove myself. So they're trying to listen to their higher selves. They're trying to listen to it without judgment. They're trying to be in an energy of, okay, lead me where you want me to go, um, listening to their intuition, listening to their higher self, not listening to the judgments of others as well. I, I felt that here as well in some of the other cards. So very much so. And judgment, as we all know, it's about a second chance. It's about, uh, it's about awakening. Um, so they may be awakening to their higher selves. They may, uh, want a second chance with their twin. That's very possible because judgment is, is that could also be someone from your past because judgment is like that in the traditional tarot. It's not the same here, but, uh, I think it has some relevant meanings as well for y'all. Next card we have is offer. So yeah, your twin wants to offer you something. They want a second chance to offer you their cup. So that's beautiful. That's magical. And they've purged. Out a lot of things so that they can offer you their cup and they're getting to a point where they feel like they can offer you their their cup because they're listening to their higher selves and they're doing the work spiritually they have some more work they have some more work to do um, but they've done quite a bit is what I'm seeing yeah here we go yeah eight of Pentacles that's yeah that's definitely an energy it's not the nine which is normally working on themselves but they've done a lot of hard work that they that they may be students right now they may be uh, in, in, jo in a job and, and they're putting in this work and um, just really working on them. I see them working on themselves. Even though it's not the nine, I still feel like they're, they're getting to that point where they're like taking some time to really work, work on this. Yeah. Okay. And we'll clarify that as well. Next card we have is I'm reminded of you constantly. So your twin is reminded of you constantly, Sagittarius. They are, they get signs, they get symbols, they think about conversations, they think about you, especially if you're in separation. Sorry, it's getting so dark in here. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's definitely, you're still in their energy. They still feel you. They still think of you um, very much so. So that's beautiful. Very beautiful energy. All right, let's do some clarification here. And uh, we'll get some more energy on some of these cards deck is so tiny and so hard to shuffle. One more. And for some of you, for some of you on the Sagittarius side, I'm sorry I didn't say that in this video, but I'm hoping you're still watching. Um, four is relevant for some reason. Four and eight, the infinity symbol, because I had to pick an additional two for these two decks, and that's eight cards. But four, yeah, four is, is relevant. I don't know if it's April, like a birthday, um, which could be Taurus here. So there's four. Uh, the number four is coming out very strongly um, for that energy, for this energy here on your side. So sorry I didn't say that earlier. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. Get some energy. Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Okay, so whatever's happened that has hurt them so bad, that has wounded them, that is that is definitely an energy of just an ending here. 
um, they still can't walk away from it. Um, there's an eight of cups here and it's reversed. So they're not, they're not actually able to walk away from this energy right now. So it may have just happened. Um, and they're not communicating that eight of wands reversed. So definitely some type of, uh, lack of communication of this. I felt that very strongly here with this page of wands, not communicating this. So they're not communicating this. If they're your twin, they're not communicating this to you. They're not communicating that they maybe have ended this connection with you and they're trying to move forward, but they're not able to right now and they're not able to communicate it or they won't communicate it. So that's just for some of you, they may just be, uh, it may just have happened. So there may have been some, some huge, um, issues that your, your twin has been dealing with. Why is the page of wands reversed? The world. Okay. So yeah. So there's a, a cycle. We got this here with with your energy and also with your twins of the world. Uh, could uh, definitely be uh, an energy here of ending cycles. Um, just just putting an end to cycles here uh, as well as you. So you're putting an end to something, Sagittarius, and they're trying to end something as well. And they know this is they know they have unfinished business. Um, they're not communicating that to you as well. So they have something to communicate. They have some type of unfinished business, business with you as their twin. They know it's karmic. They know that something has to um, come to a close in order for something new to start and to begin here. Okay, so that's very interesting here. Um, and also that you may have to travel to each other. The world is a traveling card, so you may live at a distance from your twin. That's for some of you. All right, last card here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Let's find out why the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Oh my gosh, you guys have some mirrored energy again. Okay, so uh, we have uh, the Hierophant reversed. So they don't want to be in a commitment right now for some of them. They just want to do their own thing. So that is very relevant. It's also um, that they have more spiritual work to do. Uh, could also be involved with, um, again, we have Taurus here. We've got Taurus um, as well for your Twin Flames. So could just be them. It could be them just uh, trying to end a connect, a different connection that they have. Um, it, for some of them, they want to end the connection and they want to um, just do their own thing and be independent. So that's for some. Also, it tell, it's telling me that they have more spiritual work to do, which is exactly what I felt here on this side. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Sag Sagittarius. Sorry it's getting so dark on my video. It's getting dark outside. I love the natural light here and everything about it. So... Again, um, your fortune card between the two of you, this is like your fortune cookie at the end of the reading, is lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Yes. So yeah, protect this connection. Um, I'm seeing that both of you need to protect this connection from outside um, influences as well and to be loyal to it and protect it at all costs and to keep moving forward on your path. Like you both have work to do. You're both going to be doing the work Sad your side, I think you're kind of starting to do the work. Your twins already been doing some work. But you guys have such a beautiful connection. So, um, you know, I can't wait to see what happens in January. So for those of you who are in the United States, uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you in January. Take care.